Hello, let's discuss about management of money for a family in a home. As you can see, this is a notepad. In this, we can write the details of the income, our details of the expenditure and whatever daily course you have to do during a day, during a week and during a month. You can also record other important messages while you are on phone. As you can see, this is spiral, so it is very easier for you to detach whenever you want this paper to be taken away while you're leaving for office or you're leaving for some market with the list of ingredients that you have to purchase. You can take that. In this, uh, we organize our life. That is why these are called organizers. And these are basically for a year from January to December. In this, you can uh, write your appointments your daily schedules which are important. Before doing that, you can keep a note of that and check whether you are able to achieve that during the day. You can also record other important investment payments that you're supposed to make. Um, these are of very beneficial use. These are posted. Like while you're writing on a notepad, you can take out these and stick one strip on a single sheet of paper like for uh, food uh, expenditure you can make this page for a food expenditure and attach one pink slip on this and suppose uh, after leaving four five sheets you want to use for um, education expenditure then you can use another strip and paste it on this paper so with the post it when you have a closed notebook so with that strips you can easily find out which category you have to choose these are a small folders like this you have big folders also available in the market in this you can store your um, financial uh, documents like fds your nsc and other important papers which need to be secured you can also uh, say, uh, make sure that your mark sheets and important documents are in safe place uh, which can be kept in this or in a big plastic folder uh, same ways we have these uh, card holders in this you can not only keep your visiting cards and other important relevant information that you want to keep them as strips in a piece of paper you have a lot of leaves in this and there is a lot of space to keep your uh, important information whatever suppose you have suppose you uh, bought a uh, Im Im important item from a shop so you can keep that address of the shop the rate at which you have bought all that preserved in this folder. Um, as you can see, uh, you can make out this is a album, which a photo album. But in this, uh, we can not only uh, keep photos, but we can also keep other important documents which are of use to us and we don't have a place to keep them. So we can use this photo album when we are not using it to uh, keep photos along with other important documents. Likewise, this is a small diary which you can keep. This we can keep, uh, it's very handy. We can keep it in our purse also. And uh, this is the directory. Uh, in this directory, we need to maintain the telephone numbers and uh, the addresses for the contacts we have. Uh, though we have mobiles, uh, in the mobiles we are storing a lot of data for our day-to-day -day, uh, life. But along with that, some, somewhere if it crashes, we also need to have a backup in the form of a diary. Uh, I'll also show you like a uh, few um, passbooks. Um, these are the passbooks which we uh, uh, get when we deposit our money in a bank to save money. And in this um, passbook, the, uh, our name address is there and the amount which is uh, there in our bank account is given to us the balance of the bank account is there. Each and every transaction is shown to us by the bank through this record. It's a very important record to keep a check of the total income that we are having and the amount of money we are spending. Along with that, you can see a few cards also. These are the um, debit cards. These are the cards which are given by bank and other financial institutions. This is a debit card and this also in this uh, the credit, uh, debit card, the num card number is there, our name is there on the card, the date of issue is there and the date of expiry is there. With the help of this card, 
we can uh, withdraw money from ATM and we can also do shopping at the various retail outlets. If you can see at the back, at the back of the cards, sometimes we are supposed to write signatures which is uh, very much needed in case of a credit card. This is an example of a credit card. In credit card also, you have a, a credit card number, there is a date of expiry and the, when the card is issued and the name of the person whose card is there, the person signs on the back of this card and um, there is CVC number for some cards and whenever you are shopping, the retail outlet can demand the CVC number for that. Now, uh, when you are using a uh, debit card, you are using your own money. But when you are using a credit card, you are using a loan money. This money is not in their account, but you are supposed to pay it. If you delay the payment, then the money is to be paid with a lot of interest. I will also show you the PAN card. The PAN card are issued by the government of India. This has your name and uh, there is a PAN number given to you along with your photo identification and this is required for basically uh, income tax purpose. 